forgot to remember to shut my alarm off. <laughs> Hello there. This is Cece with Going Solo, and it's so great to have you. And you are on here on the Facebook page, which is Going Solo Divorce Group, and it is great to be back here again. I'm going to start doing this show each and every Tuesday at 830, so I hope that you will join me. We're going to talk about you know, gosh, all kinds of different topics, but what's going to be really cool is that we're going to have some really fun guests on that are going to really kind of help us bring us to that next level, which is that's exactly what we want to do when we're going through the devastation feelings of relationship loss. And so we're going to be covering such topics as divorce recovery, but also relationship recovery, because so often we may be not married or maybe we are married and we're widowed and and uh, we need to be able to move forward. So we're going to talk tackle all of those important issues. And I'm sorry, I'm a little bit um, kind of tongue tied tonight. So it's, uh, you know, it's just kind of normal for me when I'm in a rush and I'm hurrying and doing a lot of different things. But how do you like the little border that I came across? It's like a little beachy type of border. And I thought it would be kind of fun to do something like that when I'm from Florida. And uh, so anyhow, and we had a lot of rain here, a little uh, uh, storm hit us this uh beginning of the week. And so this way, uh, I thought, well, we'll bring a little sunshine and a little beachiness to it. So, but I can always remove the border as easily as that. So no worries there, you know, and as we're talking about the border, what we're talking about is change. And so we can either add, you know, the border to it, or we can take the border away. And that's what change is all about. And it's really trying to be able to move forward in our lives and accepting the things that are around us. And, you know, I wanted to talk to you tonight about divorce and the changes that some of the changes that we actually go through, which are tremendous. And sometimes it's such a burden for us to be able to come together and realize that we have to make those kind of changes. So, you know, we have so many different changes in our lives that we go through. We from, you know, when we're little, you know, starting to walk, learning to do a lot of different things, going to school, being able to, you know, motivate ourselves into trying to figure out what kind of career we want to go into, um, relationships that we want to be in, not be in. <laughs> so there's so many different changes. But the reality is, is when we are going through a relationship loss, it's something that we sometimes do not have control of and it's change is going to happen to us. And whether it be something that we had decided or possibly the relationship had taken a downward turn, we were, our, our hands are tied and we feel so helpless and so alone with regards to it. And so those are the kind of things I want to talk about tonight. I want to talk about how can you turn yourself around? How can you get forward and move yourself into kind of going through some of these various different changes that we're going to be taking? And so as a good friend of mine, Andrea says, it's all in the baby steps. And that's for sure. So listen, if you're out there, I'd like for you to join me right here in the lobby. This is a new venue, um, Be Live TV. I actually love it. However, I still do not know how to work it. So we're trying to figure that out. But if you're in the lobby there and you'd like to join me, just come on forward. Um, I, and I think you just have to bring your camera forward. We'd love to have you. I believe you have to be on Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, in order for me to be able to do that. However, if you're listening, just shoot me a message because we're right here in the comments. I'd love to be able to post your comment and let everyone know that you are listening to us. So, And as the show goes back for rebroadcast, it's nice to be able to have those there so that you can look and look at you know, what people have made, the comments that they have made. So let's move on forward into change because change to me is probably one of the hardest things to accept. And so that's our very first topic tonight is acceptance of change. And so often we want to hold ourselves back. And the main reason is we're fearful of what our future holds. And so we live sometimes with hanging on to that. We want to hang on to that past. We want to hang on to what we thought our relationship was or what, better yet, what we thought our relationship could be. And it's not. It's, it is what it is. And uh, my mom used to say that all the time. It is what it is. And so sometimes you just have to gut it up and just assess where you're at and say, you know what, this is where I'm at. And sometimes I can't do anything about it and I have to kind of live through it. And so that's part of change is accepting where you're at, realizing that there 
you know, you're, you're in a standing block or standing cell and you're trying to be able to move forward and you can't because you're, you can't move forward and you can't move backwards. So sometimes you have to move sideways. And I know it sounds a little silly, but sometimes you just have to take that step sideways so that you can be able to move, move forward. And, and it's kind of sometimes about the bumps in the roads in our lives, isn't it? Because again, life is about change and it's so hard for us to be able to accept what we don't want. And sometimes as we're going through a relationship loss, we don't want it. You know, we want to be able to hold on to it. And so for us to be able to move forward, the number one thing we have to do is accept where we're at, accept where we're possibly going to go, and accept the fear that we feel as we're moving forward. And that is really, really, truly difficult. And that brings me to grasping the change. And sometimes when you grasp a change, it's very unique because I think that period in your life when you're grasping a lot of changes in your life, what you have to do is really assess those changes, but go beyond assessing those changes. Go beyond thinking about what your life could be if it was different. You know, put yourself into a positive mode. You know, think about what it would bring forward to you rather than what, you know, harm or fear or you know, just trying to think that it's it's so difficult, but but where would you be at the end of it? So if you were in going through the divorce right now, and if you were really, really in the muck of it, and you're you're devastated and you're really trying to figure out where your life is going to be, then think about the end. Think about, you know what? If I get through this, what would I really like to do with my life? Where would I really like to be? What would I like to, to experience that I haven't experienced before? Maybe start thinking about your bucket list, those things that you wanted to do that you haven't done. Maybe you wanted to go to college. Maybe you wanted to take a particular course. Maybe you wanted to learn something new. Maybe you wanted to travel. You know, there are so many different things that you can do. And I understand that maybe money right now, you can't do a lot of those things. But you can start dreaming. You can start filling up that well of dreams and that hopefulness and that and what makes you happy. You start filling that up. And what happens is that starts getting higher and higher and higher. And the fear level gets lit lower and lower and lower. And it allows you to be able to grasp that change, be able to say, you know what, maybe possibly I don't know where my future heads, but, you know, I'm here and I've got to travel through it and maybe I'm just going to start. And this is the last one, embracing it, embracing our change. Can you believe that? I know you can't. I know you cannot believe about embracing your change because you never thought you would be making all these changes. But here's the fact you are and you will, and you will be at the end of the road. And so let's get there. Let's start you know, accepting and grasping and embracing our change. Let's start going beyond what we've started to dream about and what we want to do. I mean, just think about what you could possibly accomplish in your life, what you could, whose lives you could touch and change and move forward. Think about what you can do with your family and how you can do it differently. Sure, maybe things were very you know, what you thought they were. Maybe you thought, oh, the family dynamics was perfect. You know, husband, wife, kids, we go to family vacation once or twice a year. You know, we have these things, but that doesn't mean that your life is going to be over. It doesn't mean that it's going to end. It just means it's going to be different. And that's the whole thing. It's different. And I think sometimes change, you know, that brings different bring something totally new. Sometimes it can be really awesome. And I want to share with you that going solo is just not that bad. You know, sure, I have tough times. I have sad times. I have times where I'm alone. But then I have great friends. I can start setting a path of where I want my life to be. I can embrace my family who are with me 100%. I can choose to not be with the ones that aren't. You know, I can make decisions on my own. I can decide what I want to do with my life. I can bring it up. I can bring it down. I can step it sideways. 
And that's what change is all about. And I, and I just, I'm so excited. I'm excited that you have a choice, that you have a choice in your life to be able to move forward, to be able to spring ahead, to be able to stop and savor, to be able to really think about where your life is going to be. So even though we're talking about divorce and we're talking about one of the, probably one of the saddest times in your lives, one of the most difficult times in your life, it's no different than any other time that you have to make a tough decision to move forward in your life, that you have to make that tough decision to be able to transcend yourself into another horizon. And that's what change is all about. So let that fear that you feel right now, let it propel you into something of greatness something of good, give back to others. Sometimes when you take it off yourself, you put it onto others, amazing how your life can be. Just stop for a minute and smell the flowers. Think about it. Think about what your life could actually be and how you can touch and change and shape, shape your life. I mean, just think about how you can shape your life. You can shape your children's life, how you handle yourself in this most difficult time in your life is going to really touch those all around you. And it's gonna to touch those that you don't even know. So I think change, you know, even in divorce can be a pretty awesome experience if we allow ourselves to accept it, to grasp it, and most of all, embrace it. So that's my tidbit for tonight. I don't wanna to keep it too long because I know you got a lot of stuff going on in your life. I wanted to try to just share with you a little bit of inspiration give you some, you know, let's pat on the back. You know, you've made it this far and you're going to go much farther and we're going to do it together. So we're going to do it right here on Going Solo Divorce Group. I hope that you will share um, this video with others and I hope you will watch it again. You know, sometimes we have to listen to things when we're not really feeling like listening to it. We have to listen to it again when we're ready to listen to it. So I hope you will listen to this video. We do have a wonderful channel on YouTube, Going Solo Network. It's WGSN DB Going Solo Network. And um, all you have to do is just join that, you know, go on that. And please, I'm going to ask one thing of you. I'm going to ask for you to, to really, you know, share a part of yourself. I would like for you to participate in the change of your life and participate in others. And I'm going to ask you to participate in my life and help me to be able to move forward and keep sharing. I feel these great shows and shows that other hosts on WGSN are doing. So I'm going to ask you to please like all of my pages that I'm involved in. And I have lots of things going on. I'd like you to join me and participate in it. I'd love for you to comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like how I can change, what I can bring forward. I would like for you to join our YouTube channel and follow it. I'd love for you to follow everything that we do. Follow us on LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter, You know, follow us throughout everything that needs to be done. Because not only when you do that, do you do something to yourself. I think it makes a change within yourself because you are helping others helping them move forward, but you're inspiring those around you to say, you know what? I got this. I have this. I can move forward. I can grasp this change in my life. And guess what? We're going to do it like Andrea says, those baby steps. We're going to do it together and we're going to make it happen. So I'm going to ask you to please join me on this show each and every Tuesday at 830. Share it with your friends that are going through these type of topics that we need to be able to move forward. You're going to hear a lot of great guests. I'm going to bring them forward so that we can help you be able to understand that there are wonderful people out there, coaches and professionals that want to help move you forward in your life. And also we have a great show, which is Boy and Girl Thing. That's on every Thursday night at eight o'clock. And we have that right on WGSN DB Going Solo Network Facebook page. Now that is the radio and the TV Facebook page. So I hope that you will also go make sure you like that, follow it. We have some fantastic hosts that help you. And they do all a range of different things, not just divorce. So as you're moving forward and you're feeling like you're healed, but we talk about dating. We talk about the transition of dating, which to me is probably one of the toughest things because I'm in that myself, that trans. I take two steps forward, three steps back, four steps forward, one step back. It's just kind of a bit of a dance. And so I think that's what happens when we come out of a long-term painful um, relationship. 
And so sometimes it just takes us a while to be able to move forward, but it's our growth that's so important. So I hope that you will join us on WGSN DB Going Solo Network. Go and please listen to the, the radio station. It's a 24-7 live streaming station. We do it in a podcast form, so it, we put it up there for you so that you can listen to it. So if you're up at 3 o'clock in the morning, rather than watch something negative on TV, listen to something positive, and that's what it's all about. So that's that's what change is. It's embracing your life, making a difference, and I hope that you will join me back here every Tuesday night at 8.30, unless there's something happening big in my life that I can't actually be here, but I hope to do that. I hope that you will share your comments and that we can participate in this together. If you want to join my live um which is an interactive group, which is uh, my friends connect uh, divorce support group here, local here in the Tampa Bay area. Please, you're welcome to do that. Even if you don't live in the Tampa Bay area, you can still connect with us on the through the web, through the internet, and uh, we hope that you'll do that. But anyhow, I hope that you can embrace your change. So again, we want to cover the age, and the age is accept the change in your life understand it's going to happen to you. So you might as well grab a hold of it and hang on tight and make sure you embrace it, be able to, to embrace it, heart, mind, body, and soul. And I think it's so very, very vital and important. So we're going to have some great guests. So I hope that you will check us back right here again next evening, next Tuesday evening, and uh, it will be at 8.30. I'm doing it a little bit later. So those of you who have families, you can, you know, feed them and get them down and, and get them taken care of so that you can come and join the show. If you miss it, no worries. We have it right here on the Facebook page and also on the WGSNDB Going Solo uh, Network. We have it on our, our channel, which is goingsolonetwork.com. We also will have it on our YouTube uh, channels. So I'm getting so many shows that it's getting harder for me to keep all of them on the actual website. So we're, we are moving a lot of them over to the YouTube channel so that you can listen to them there. All right. Well, I feel like I'm kind of rambling on here. So I just want you to know I love you and things are getting better, I hope, in your life as they are definitely getting better in mine. And I am embracing you. And I want to thank you so much for embracing me. So this is Cece with Going Solo and I will catch you back next time. Bye for now.